Hello, let's continue our advanced Sudoku series with Papa Bear by Jovial. So this is puzzle number seven of chapter four of the Sudoku Gospel document. Um, so as always, I know what technique I'm looking for and how it works, but I don't know where it is in this specific puzzle. Uh, there's a link in the description if you'd like to check out the document yourself or this specific puzzle. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get started right now. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit worried about this one, <laughs> but let's get as much info as we can first. Uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. So no repeats here. So are there any obvious restricted cells? Maybe this one, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, nah. Uh, actually, this is down to three digits, right? This is one, three, and five, uh, not five, uh, eight, one, three, and eight. Yeah. Um, this box is restricted. This is from one, two, three, and nine. Cleans up quite a bit. Okay. Um, two sixes look in, putting a six in one of these two. These two fours look down. So four is over here. I don't really want to mark that. Um, let's see. I do have two sevens here. Places a seven right here. Um, that puts a seven over here somewhere. Oops. Three, no, six, eight. Eight's in one of these two. Eight's over here. I'm not finding much else, huh? Maybe this one? One is in one of these two. Okay, I'm not sure we're going to find much else. Not that we found much at all. We got the seven. <laughs> it's not nothing. All right, so I want to try to approach this with set and see if it works. I hope it does. <laughs> um, so what I'm thinking one, two, three, nine might be our key digits just because of the center box. <laughs> no outside info here, just our center box had one, two, three, nine open. So, and that. We're looking for what's called a senior exoset, by the way, which is like a like the exosets we've been doing, except the target cells are, I believe, in two different boxes. So that's a little bit more complicated. But I think the idea is the same. So let's see if we can approach it with set. Um, so the non one two three nine. So four five. Actually, I think it's one two three nine that we want to capture. So you have two ones, two twos, two threes. And two and three nines. Okay, so how would we capture these properly? Um, trying to see. I could do. Mm, I don't think I want to do four. I think it's still three rows versus three columns. I wonder if I should be looking at five, six, seven uh, instead. Five, six, seven, eight, maybe? With a four? Let's see. We have a lot of four, five, six, seven, eights. Um, what's actually lining up here? I feel like maybe these kind of line up. Interesting. Maybe these as well. Nine, eight, four, five. Oops. Whoop. <laughs> Held control a little too long there. Um, whoopsie. Okay. I am thinking about this row, two, three. We've got two, four in this row. We've got one, three in this row. Let's start with this. I don't know if this is right. And I don't think it would be, because I think we need to do three boxes. But let's just see where this takes us for now. Um, and then we can easily grab these digits. We can grab these digits. We can grab these digits, I guess. Green. So here what I've done is I picked three rows and three columns. Um, it doesn't 
look great to me, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, um, purple and green are the same sets of digits. If I remove these cells, they are still the same sets of digits as each other. So that's the basic idea behind this set. Now, we know we've got one, two, three. So okay, let's cancel out the fours. Let's cancel out the nines. Cancel out the sevens. So I've got one, two, double three in purple. I need to go in green somewhere. This will be one of them. We don't know if it's one or three, but it'll be one of them. Now, do we want to ask about like where this one goes, for example? Not really. I don't think this is the right set. Let's let's try to find another one. Um, I think I should look for another one, two, three, nine elsewhere. Um, where could I? Where would I find one? Let's actually look at all. Let's look at this one as well. This can be two, three, four. Can't be five, six, seven. Could be eight. That's not it. Um, I might have to go crazy with penciling here. This column needs two, four, not two, three. I mean, um, six and eight. Okay, that cleans up a bit. This column needs one, three. Four, five, six. That's a five, one, three. Um, let's see. This can't be one, two, or three. So this is from four, can't be five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not nine either. Only four, eight. And this is one, two, three, could be four, can't be five, six, seven, could be eight. So that's a four, eight pair. So that's not four, eight. Oopsie. That's not four, eight. Maybe that was needed. Um, because that's from two three now. That's not an eight. So this is from one three. This feels important. Um one, two, three, nine. Oh, that's a one, two, three triple. So that's a nine. Yeah, there's just Sudoku that I didn't see. I didn't see these two nines looking in. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, there's there's more Sudoku to do here. Um what else do we have? Four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, two, three, six, eight. Okay. Um, I guess I should pencil more. Maybe I should pencil over here. Is there anything I missed here? Sixes, eights, nines. Well, now I have nines, but it doesn't really help much. All right. So one, two, three. We have four, five. We need six, seven. We know these aren't the six, yeah. That's not one, that's not three, that's not two, that's not three. Not super helpful. How about down here? We need one, two, three, and five. That's not three, that's not one, that's not two, that's not three or five. That's a one or a two, okay. So I'm thinking about... Hmm. Do I, do I want to capture these three rows, maybe? Let's start with that. So I kind of want to touch these one, two, threes here. And then this one, these maybe help. I'm starting to think maybe that's what's happening, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, now I need to pick three columns here. I can't pick up a whole lot, but I can at least pick up a three, a two, and a one while not removing any of these important givens, except maybe this five. So let's add that to purple. Let's clean up the overlap. Okay. So we know there's a one, two, three triple in green. We don't have very many open cells in green, so this looks promising. Um, so this one, two, three actually are, are done. They, they come from there. Okay. So I guess this didn't really help a whole lot, did it? Um, I 
this one or two is taken care of by either this one or this two. It's too much freedom here. Okay, I'm starting to think that's not it. There's three nines in green, so we need we need nines in here. Is that helpful? So the nines can't go there. The nine can't go there. No, I'm not. I'm not convinced there's even any eliminations of note here. I don't think there are. Okay. Um. Got two fours, two fours, three nines, one, two, five, eight. Okay, I don't think it's this. Let's go back to the drawing board here. Um, I'm really suspicious of this here. And I thought maybe these would be our cross lines for our exoset. So let's just take a look at, at this more typically and see if that's helpful at all. So the idea is one, two, and three need to end up somewhere. Like we need three ones, three twos, and three threes in blue. The question is, where can they go? Uh, this three takes it out of these. The problem is we've got six columns going on here. Okay, these can't be three, and these can't be three. So I can put threes in these cells. Yeah, that doesn't help me. These might not be the right cross lines. What if it... Um, Maybe this one, two is helpful. I may have to pencil more. I want to be able to see it from the givens, though. That would be very nice, but I don't know if I can. The problem I'm running into is, let's see, let's highlight where all our 1, 2, 3s are given. Here they are. So how would I capture these? I would need 4. But I want to use rows or columns. I'd want to use rows because I'd have to use way more columns. So, okay, let's let's make these. Let's actually make these purple for consistency. And then, why did I pick this one? Because of the one. Okay. I could grab the middle here, going between these two, right? Grab the middle, and then I want to grab this to avoid the two and the three, and I want to grab this to avoid the one and the three. I think this is my best bet. Did I already do this one? I don't know. Uh, it feels familiar. <laughs> but let's take a look at it again, because I didn't have all the info as I did last time. Um, okay, anything to cross out. We can cross out the fours. Uh, we got two ones. So hold on. We got two ones. We got two twos. We got three threes. Okay, these fives cross out. Six, oopsie. Six, seven. Okay, these two sevens cross out. Oopsie. Um, eight, nine. Okay, all of these nines cross out. All right, what can we do from there? Um, so I've got two ones, two twos, and three, two threes that need to go into green. 
this looks a lot more promising. That's six. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five. How did that happen? I feel like I've got way more greens than purples. Oh, it's because I started. Okay, I started with four purples and I did three greens. So we have a we have an imbalance set. So there's going to be an extra one, two, and three in purple, but we still need to account for another one, two, and three in green. So there's a single one, two, and three in green. So now we want to take these, these blue ones. We want to ask where do these two blue ones go in green? Because we need one of each in green. They're not going to go here because it shares a box, and they're not going to go here because it shares uh, a row. So these have to be the two blues. These are from one, two, three. That's not two, that's not one. So these are the blues. And now, this is our other. Does, is this, this, does this have to be our other one, two, three? Or can it go here? What can these be? Let's actually fill what these can be. Um, one, two, three, can't be four, could be five, six, could be seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it can be a lot of digits. Um, this can be one, two, three, four, five, can't be six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So yeah, th these are pretty open. Um, do we want to think about this backwards now? So we have a si two sixes, a seven, two eights to place in purple. That's one, two, three, four, five. We need to we need an extra of all of those as well. So how many open cells do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen extra cells. Um not including the extra one, two, three. We need four through six as part of our extra set, our extra one to nine. So that's going to be six digits. So let's get rid of six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know which six it'll be, but we're just counting by highlighting. So this is the cells that need to be filled by what's in green. And so that's going to be two sixes, a seven, two eights, and then whatever these two digits are. This, let's see, none of these can be three. Wow, three is actually, three can only go in one more spot of these. I guess it doesn't really matter because we have these up here too. I'm not, it's not specifically these. So let's see, two sixes, a seven, an, uh, two eights. Yeah, and so then these, it's not these two, but like these are the two left that represent these two, yeah. So I'm not sure if I can do anything with that at the moment. Um. Did getting these help at all? What was eliminated from here that otherwise could have been here? Um, a nine. A nine was eliminated. <laughs> Amazingly, this was only already only two, three, nine, because it sees one, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about this one? So nine was eliminated here. So not nine, not nine. Not super helpful. I feel like there's got to be more I can find from this exoset, but let's see. Uh, this one. One, two, three. It could have been four. Five. It could have been four or six. That doesn't feel helpful enough to me. And we don't know much about four or six in this area at all. So, hmm. So it's not just that. There's something else about this exoset that I'm supposed to understand. Not easy to think about, but, um,. All right. These are the two blues. What can we say about that? Okay, so well, we don't know that this 2-3 is this 2-3. That's the problem. Like, I want to match these up, but we, we haven't actually proven that these are the same. But if these were the same, it would end up exactly here. And that would force them to be 3. Okay, and if these were the same... Oh, wow. 
no matter what, it's three. Okay, so so look, well, yeah. So the these two these two digits are are here and here definitely, and the, these are the two different digits. The two different blues go here and here. We don't know which is which, but they go here and here. Let's think about so either these two are the same or these two are the same. Let's think about if these two are the same. Well, this would look up and this would look in, and four eight and four six is not it. Oh, so it's either this two or it's this one three. I forgot about the given two. So it's going to be one of those two. And then if this, if it were these two that were the same, then it wouldn't be the four, eight, the seven, or the nine. It would have to be this one, three. Okay, so it's either this two or it's this one, three. If, if, if these were the same, it would go here. These would all be threes, for what it's worth. And then these two would be twos. Okay, so then we can look down here. So if these two are the same, then it ends up here, and it has to be a three. Oh, well, that doesn't work, does it? Hold on, did, it, did I think about that right? Okay, so let's actually color this. Let's just pretend, let's use orange, that these two are orange. What happens in this case? This orange looks up, this orange looks in. This can't be orange, this can't be orange, this can't be orange, because orange is from one, two, three. Well, okay, if these were the same, then they would be three, right? <laughs> So if these were the same, they would be three. So we'll just fill three there. Well, I don't know if I want to fill three there. Let's just do a little three here, just to focus on what we're doing here. So this three would look in, this three would look in, none of these can be three. This would also be a three. All right, and it would be orange. Now, in that case, these two would be the same. And guess what? They'd also have to be three. So it just doesn't work. We know which one's which. There's probably a much easier way to see that, actually. Is there an easier way to see that? Yeah, if these two were the same, they'd have to be three, and then these two would be the same, and they'd have to be three. Okay, none of that other stuff was important at this point, so this is wrong. So actually, this is orange, and this is blue. Okay, so now this blue looks in, this blue looks in. It's one of these two. Yeah, this is the unfortunate thing, is I don't actually get anything out of that. Um, but at least we've proven they're the same, because it's one of these two now. So one of these two is orange, and one of these two is blue. All right, this is a cut here, and it's actually a couple days later. I was reviewing the footage, and at this point, um, I'm about to make a very large logical leap mistake that ends up being correct by accident and solves a puzzle. That wouldn't have been good. So I'm interjecting in here, and I did see what actually I should have done at this point. So we'll just continue from there. Um, so if you look, we've got this one, two, three triple here. If we assign a color like yellow to this one, maybe makes it a little bit easier. It's probably about the same to see, though. Um, we have this one, two, three triple here, and what what's happening here is because this is the yellow, we need a, this to be an orange blue pair. So it's very similar to this needing to be an orange blue pair, and it's the exact same logic because look, this is a one three and this is a two three. So what happens if this one actually ends up orange? That means this one has to end up blue, and now both of them have to be three because orange is saying, "Hey, I'm either one three or two three. Okay, I'm a three. And blue is saying I'm either one three or two three, so I'm a three. And now we end up with with all of these being three, which is obviously bad. So this can't be the orange. This has to be the blue, and this has to be the orange, which which actually resolves them because now orange in this box, if you look, can only be right here. So this ends up orange. So I can actually just remove the white slash from here. And this ends up blue, and that means blue is one, and orange is two. So orange is two, blue is one, and now I don't need blue and orange at all. Look at that. So I was I was so close to you know getting the correct thing, but I just missed it. Now three doesn't need to be called yellow because it is just three. So that's not one two. That's not one two. That's not a three. That's not a three. The one is placed. The two is placed. Okay. So let's see where do we go from here. Um, with all that resolved, it should be easier. Um. Let's see, we can cancel out our ones in our set. We can cancel out our twos in our set. Okay. Um, cancel out these threes as well. So if I recall, purple had an extra one to nine in it. So we might want to start accounting for that. We have a one, two, three. Um, so actually, we're going to need we're going to need quite a few more sixes and eights because we're going to need three sixes and three eights into purple. But I'm not 100% sure if that's useful at the moment. 
let's um let's just look for sudoku on some of the the digits we got we got this two we got, we got all these digits so let's take a look at that uh two in this box is actually in one of these two now uh and so now it's placed up here in this column or box um two two is in one of these two cells okay how about three or or one maybe one is Okay, one's in one of these two. This feels familiar. <laughs> that places one in this box, does it? Yeah, it does. It places one in this box. Anything else with ones? Okay, one's in one of these two. That's kind of symmetric. Let's see. I got this three. Is that helpful? I do need three in this row somewhere. Three is kind of in here somewhere. Hmm. Is there anything we can say about green at this point? The remaining greens don't have any ones or twos in them. So there's no more ones or twos in purple. Is that helpful? You know, I think we already kind of know that from our markings. So I don't think that's helpful to mark up specifically. Let's look at this row. We need three, four, six, seven, eight. So this is three, four, six. It's not seven, eight. This is three, sorry, this is not three. It could be four. No, it can't be four. It can't be three or four. This is a naked seven, isn't it? It's not one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Wait, oh, or nine. Yeah, yeah, this is a naked seven. That places this seven here. It places this two. Places that two. Places that two. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. These are all not twos. All right, so that does mean um, I need a. Okay, I can cancel these sevens. Let's see. What else is going on here? The rest of this row is three, four, six, eight. Okay, so the eight in this row is placed right here. This eight did it, so let's give it credit. Okay. <laughs> three, four, six here. Oh, the three is placed because of this three. Yeah, so that's a three. And for the row, that's not a three. And so this is four, six pair, but we know the order. That's, whoa, that's six, that's four. Uh, I can cancel the sixes. It does mean I need a four in green, so we can immediately place the four in green. Oh, no, this can be the extra four. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> this is, there's an extra one to, one to nine, so this could be an extra four. Um, this is five and nine here. Okay, five, nine pair means that's a three. That's not a three. All right, that's not a three. Okay, this is, let's see, one, two, we need three, five, nine here. So the three can only go here. This is a five or a nine. Um, is there anything special going on here? Um, how about this box? We need five, six, eight, nine. The six is placed here because of that six and that six. These aren't sixes. I feel like I should just rescan the grid, but um, this I think this will work out fine. We need five eight nine here. Five eight nine. That's not a five. Okay. Um, over here is a triple. One two three four. We need five six and eight. So the eight is placed here. That cancels with this eight. All right. Five six pair. Okay, I'm not sure what I can do with that. Um, this is a triple. We know the one is here. What else do we need? Two, three. We need a four. We have five, six, seven, eight. We need a nine. Okay. What else is happening here? Five, nine pair. So this is filled. It's an eight. Okay. This is from one, five, seven, nine. It's not a one, so it's only five, seven, nine, I guess. Um, where else can I look? Two's eight. Are eight's done? Not quite. Okay. I'm looking at I'm thinking about digits I got recently and whether I can continue to follow up on them. It feels like this is almost done. We just have to pencil the right things. 
Um, let's look at this box, because there's a four left. We have one, two, three, we need four, six, seven, nine. Yeah, the seven is placed in here. So that's that's our bonus seven for purple. Um so purple doesn't get more sevens, but it doesn't need it doesn't want more sevens anyway. Alright. We almost let's see, we have one, two, three, four, seven accounted for in our bonus set so far. Um These sevens look into here. It's a seven and one of these two. Let's just pencil the remaining cells here. Uh, these can't be one, two. They could be three. Actually, three is placed in this row. This three looks down. Okay, so that's three, that's seven, that's six. We get our one and our five and our nine and our seven. So this nine means that there's going to be two more nines in purple. So I think we know where those are, but anyway, that's a five. So let's let's, uh, let's finish this though. That's one. This is not a six. So this nine here, we, we need two more nines in purple. Actually, let's place this one first. Okay. We need two more nines in purple. One of them can go up here, but the other one needs to be down here, I believe. Yeah, so this has to be a nine. So that's nine, that's five. I doubt we needed to use that, but why not? All right, so we can cancel these nines out. So our bonus nine is going to be up here, so is going to be one of these two. Um, four, five, six. What, what's this one? This is also four, five. It's not a five. So this is four, this is five. That's six, that's five. So we can cancel these fives. We get our, our 9 and our 4 and our 6 and our 8, a 3 and a 4, a 6 and a 5. These 6s can cancel, and our remaining digits should be, see we get a 6 here, 4, 9, 8. So we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. So that's our bonus set, and we're done. So that's 4, that's 8, that's 3, that's 9. <laughs> I doubt I needed that set afterwards, but it's always fun to just like use the set for the rest of the solve because why not? Um, pretty sure that was like bit like singles to the end. Um, it would make sense for this kind of puzzle. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.